talk about a project um, I've been working on for some time um, with uh, quite a few other people called One Up. Um, so here we go. So within decentralized networks, one of the big questions is just understanding um, who is contributing value. Um, just having a, an understanding and a picture of that is, is quite challenging. Um, and so within uh, centralized organizations, um, it's it's pretty obvious. You have a boss and a CEO, and um, you know the the general understanding is that the higher in the pyramid you are, the more value you add. And um, you know there's also um, bosses that keep track of value add. So you know your 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 boss will understand how much value you're adding and report it up the chain. Um, and there's a clear understanding. Um, but within decentralized networks, uh, it gets a lot more complicated and um, there's no easy way to understand um, who's adding value in the network. So what we did with 1UP um, is just to create a really simple mechanism for decentralized networks to, um, to, to give each other uh, one up, which is a peer-to-peer -peer reputation or reward system, um, which just tracks uh, contributions um, in a really simple way, um, and then generally those can be thought of uh, um, as as a reward mechanism. So you you receive one up, and then you can redeem those things for for rewards, um, and those re rewards can be voting power in a DAO in a community. It can be prizes. It can be anything you you want really or the community wants so the the high level uh, flow is um, you do something that's value added in your community uh, someone gives you someone up and then um, you get a token which can be redeemed for something um, and that something can be pretty much anything you can imagine um, so I'll do a little demo. It's a lot easier to just see it in action. Um, so actually this was just, um, uh, this just happened this morning. So, um, so I gave an update on one up, um, earlier this week, uh, someone, uh, called Jill wrote a command in telegram one up Eric Arsenal for the brief updates. Um, and then the one up bot responds with some some automated response. Eric Arsenal is a, a real deal, um, a real player. Um, just to, to show, for example, what this looks like, um, I'll do I'll I'll just shout a one up. So I do one up. Um, let's say uh, Darren for the dope one up. And that I'm enjoying. Yay. So now the one up bot response. Uh, Darren's an unbelievable gangster. Um, and so dishing out one up can be done by anybody. Right now there's no limit. Um, and this bot can be added to any community. Uh, we've had this bot added to maybe four or five different communities so far. Um, if I click on view profile, everybody has a, a profile. Um, you can keep track of all your one-ups you've received from different communities. So here, this is one-up community. Um, there's some in the FestDAO chat, the one-up mud chat, Metacartel DAO chat, so you can keep track of all, all the one-ups you've received um, and all the mes messages associated with them. Um, and if you, right now I've associated my three box profile to this, but um, if you didn't receive your three box, put, if you didn't hook up your three box profile, oh, he has as well. So let's just find someone who's, uh, who hasn't done that. Right, so if, if uh, you're this user, um, you can claim your profile, and what this does is it just uh, starts a, a chat with the bot uh, via direct message, and you just um, claim an Ethereum address. Um, 
and then it associates this Telegram handle with your Ethereum address. And then uh, once you've done that, um, your three blocks profile shows up here. So that's essentially how it works. Um, but there's one last piece. So once you've claimed your one ups um, off chain, then you can submit them to the DAO. And the way we've uh, built it so far is that um, you have one week to claim your one ups from the previous week. So uh, right now I have it's telling me I have two days left for for claiming my 21 ups from last week. Um, and so I have one week if I click this, it just um, allows me to submit those one ups to the DAO. And um, yeah, if I haven't mentioned this right now, the, the entire one up system is, is going through a single DAO. So uh, the more um, the more one ups you have, that translates to uh, voting power, which is reputation, and uh, up tokens um, in a DAO stack DAO. Um, and so you submit this to the DAO, and if it gets approved by the other members, um, it mints you reputation um, and and tokens. So that's that's the flow. Um, I'm not going to submit this one because I've already submitted it. And once people see these proposals, they can click on a proposal. So for example, um, if I click on this proposal, you get um, a nice link here, which you can click to do some auditing. And you can see, OK, th these are the one-ups he's gotten. This is the message associated with them. Right now, there's no messages because that functional functionality was just added. Um, but it allows you to do a, a really quick audit of, of the claims and, and vote on them. So uh, let me think if there's anything else here to, to mention. Right now, it only works on Telegram, um, and it only works with one DAO. Our plans are to um, our plans are to expand that to 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 use uh, multiple different DAOs. Um, so that different communities can have their, their own uh, separate one-up bot. Um, and also we're looking at expanding it to different platforms as well, uh, like Discord, for example. Um, so then once you have your, your voting power and your tokens, um, then the question is, what, what do you do with your tokens? What, what is this? Um, why do you why do you care? Um, and that's a really good question. So I guess in, uh, there's a few scenarios. The first scenario is where um, the voting power is voting power in a DAO in the community itself. Um, and the second situation is where uh, this mechanism is just using as a used as a reward mechanism. So you can imagine um, having NFTs, for example, that uh, the community can purchase based on the um based on the tokens that you've accumulated so you could exchange those nfts uh, those tokens for you know tickets for events for example um you know you could exchange them for cash or or, or bitcoin or whatever um you could exchange them for game items or anything else um Really, the the idea is that it's it's very broad in nature, in that you can just re reward and um, provide rewards to any community. Um, and game item is bolded here because that's where we started with one up. Um, the 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 concept of one up was actually um, started um, uh, through a proposal I submitted in the Meta Cartel um, community in the first round of grants um, back in September or so. Um, and the roots of this concept was just creating a really simple game for the community where um, the more value you added, uh, the more you built up your character. And so it started out as a card game, actually, so um, where you had everybody started with a, a really simple, boring pepper with a spice level zero. And then over time, they could build up their character, buy items, um, and the um the visual the, the um how cool their character was would essentially be a, a representation of the value they've added in the community so if we go back to this slide here where you have a network and no easy way to track value 
Um, the idea is by by having uh, game items, uh, you can just really quickly just visually look at who has the coolest player, and uh, or you know uh, j just visually see um, who who has generated the most value in that community uh, in a really simple way. Obviously, you could also just look at a leaderboard, but this is just a bit more fun. Um, and the I, the vision behind that all that was okay. Well, you know, eventually you could allow characters to build up their players, and um, you could have DAOs and guilds uh, build up kind of a little empire, and you slowly build up your fortress, and then you could have a, a visual environment where. Um, the value that each network is contributing and the value of all the players is, is just visually represented in a really simple way and you can navigate between them. We're far from there, but that was kind of the, the vision. So next steps, there's a lot of updates going on right now for, for 1UP. Um, we received a lot of feedback from different communities on, on different functionality they want. Um, so we're making those changes actively right now. So uh, we just started our, our next sprint. Um, we want to allow any community or DAO to spin up their own instance of 1UP. Um, so right now there's just one 1UP one instance and there's one DAO associated with it. So allowing different DAOs to spin up their own instance. And then right now it only works for DAO stack. Uh, we're looking at expanding the feature to include, uh, to be hooked up to Aragon and Moloch DAOs as well. Um, but yeah. That's 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 one up. Um, so if you're interested in checking it out, join our community. Um, there's a lot of work to do as well. If you're interested in collaborating, um, that's that's it. Really short. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's good. Very to the point. So where can everybody find you? So you mentioned there's um, obviously there's uh, work to be done. There's feedback. Where can everybody find you? Yeah, I'll, I'll uh, copy a link to the Telegram chat. That's probably probably the Telegram chat is the best place. No, put it in. Are you in the Discord or if you send it to me? Oh, there you are. No. Yeah. yeah. You meant Discord. I was like, no, no Telegram. We're doing this stuff. Mm -hmm. um, perfect. Okay. Um, and then um, do we have any, any questions for Eric? have you have you tried it somewhere i have not but i have seen it in uh being used in the metagamma delta uh, channel so yeah we're um i'm a member of that so we've been um i've been seeing it this morning uh a lot of uh action happening in the um dragon quest oh, beautiful. so we're doing um we're doing a, a few things about that that hackathon and and using one up so yeah it's going to be interesting i i saw it and that's why when i saw you were speaking about it i was like oh yes okay i i definitely <laughs> need to try it and uh and give you that feedback in in telegram so yeah um when did you start working on this um you mentioned you've been working on it for a while but i don't think i've heard you talk about it or have i yeah well we we kind of the previous it had a previous name called Pepper Forty, um, okay. and uh, Pepper Forty was more geared towards the Meta Cartel community. The characters were peppers, right. um, and then you know we we piloted the concept um, without building anything, just as like a really simple, just tracking everything in a Google Sheet, um, and we had some, you know. We had peppers and you could buy bling on your pepper and like it was just kind of a fun game, but it also uh, really showed a lot of engagement and people really liked it. Um, so that's that was like the the first version of the name. And then we we launched last week. So okay. that was th that was this version of the game, a really, really raw MVP, but also something that we can build upon and um, you know, expand to different communities and things like that. Yeah. Okay. So is that the plan to essentially then uh, expand to, to different communities and have different communities? Yeah, that's the idea. I mean, uh, for example, Meta Gamma Delta, yes. um, you know, I think it'd be great if, 
like right now, the one ups that you you claim within that community uh, link to the one up DAO. Um, the idea is to eventually have that link up to uh, your own DAO, um, so that I each see. community. Um, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, when do we think that will be, or is that like soon? Yeah, in the next sprint, I think. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Excited. So it's, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, it, it's gonna be fun. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Awesome. Anybody else? So you've linked it. Um, you've put the uh, the chat link in the meta track, and I think what we'll do is um, all of the all of the talks will have them uploaded and and accessible as well. So if you want to revisit yeah. this, um, Ben, do you have a question? <laughs> Yes, um, I, I think I'm your f most favorite supporter today. <laughs> um, yeah, well, I, I think it's more a question at the the really uh, early stage of One Up. Could you maybe re-explain how you came up with this idea? And I don't really nail um, how apart from all the uh, DAO and claiming uh, your token extra, but. Uh, with a Discord where you have already like the functionality to make a thumb up or a thumb down, uh, how do you uh, improve uh, the the social uh, layer uh, with uh, with the the solution you you, yeah, you so, put up uh, in uh, front of us? Those are good questions. Um, in terms of how this came about, um, the idea was to have character cards. For, for everybody. So, you know, you, you have a character card and I have mm -hmm. one and Simona has one. Um, and the idea was that you, you build up your character over time as you contribute value. So you contribute value, um, okay. you get recognized by the community, and then through that recognition, you can build up your character. That's where it came from. Um, and... Mm -hmm. But originally, it was a very manual process. Uh, you know, we had, a, mm. we had a Google Sheet. Um, we didn't have a bot. Uh, so it was me just tracking everything in a Google Sheet. And then we also we also used a Figma board to display items. Mm. And, like, people would manually add their items. So it was, like, very, very manual and painful. But um, the concept was there. And then, um, you know, that evolved into, okay, well, if we want to scale this, the first thing we have to do is just have a bot that can automate all of the those transactions. Mm -hmm. And then um, right now, even with one up, we don't really have the the character creation or anything as part of it. But the idea is to to move towards that where, yeah. where your character you can just buy little items and and mm -hmm. improve it just for fun. Yeah, but other funny. communities might choose not to have that. Like if if uh, Medic M Delta sees no need in having character creation that's totally cool you can just link it up to a DAO and it's just voting power or it's just something else um, yeah i think uh, there, there, there will be some uh, octopus flying around probably <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the, yeah. actually it is actually quite interesting like the uh, initial thought about like uh through the social interaction you actually building your character and maybe can you go even deeper uh, what your vision like how building your own character in a virtual space or in a community can I don't know either and uh, strengthen the co the community belonging or um, help you to other quest or oh. yeah that's I'm not entirely sure I mean um, mm. I think that one of the big problems that I was looking to solve is is um understanding the landscape when you're entering the community and like who's mm. contributed value and like even where you can contribute value um but mm. yeah i'm not sure about social interactions and strengthening it like mm -hmm. when when we had um pepper 4d we actually had um this is something that is not part of the current scope at all but we had weekly battles so yeah. one of the things you could do with your character was buy you know, weapons and defense items mm -hmm. and like 
picks. And then we had weekly battles where everybody would uh, join into a room and and have a battle, and we had like rules around the battle and what you could do. Mm. And then you had players coming out. Um, you had teams actually that would would, would work in these battles. Um, and so it was, it was quite an advanced thing uh, that that we can't really do today. But um, yeah, I, I think some elements like that really strengthened uh, like. Mm bonds and allowed people to work together in teams but it's pretty far out <laughs> to and, be honest. And yeah no but it was going and the thing you said uh, when you enter in the community to discover about the landscape and how you can contribute and especially how you can start uh, how actually one up is uh, helping that or interacts with this topic so again this is this is not in the current stage um But the idea was that if if you could visually see um, the characters of the different players, they mm. would tell you who, who's added value. So it would allow you to know who you can contact within the community mm. and who who is like an elite member of the community. Um, mm. And the other idea was that um, you know within a DAO, for example, you you generally have many different projects associated associated yeah. with it. Um, and so the idea was that eventually um, those different projects would be able to accumulate points as well. So a as you contribute to a project, you would actually earning uh, yourself, but then part of the your one ups that you earn go to your project. And so projects would have a visual representation as well. So if if you have a project that a lot of people are starting to contribute value to. Um, that project would have a physical presence in this world where you um, are building, you know, a little yeah. fortress and it might be very large or small yeah. depending on how much value is added. Okay. Cool. But again, pr pretty, pretty far out and not not in the immediate plan, but that was the idea. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah. And then, well, oh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, go for it. Yeah, I, just, uh, <laughs> I guess there's some light. No, uh, my my final word was I I found uh, like a quite elegant the uh, one up approach, uh, just uh, a boat and uh, and one up. So yeah, I was uh, quite uh, seduced by the uh, the solution. Yeah, it's it's been quite fun. Um, the other question about Discord. Um, yeah, we're thinking that for Discord, those emojis would actually just each be a one up. So you get an emoji, it's a one-up. Um, and um, I guess, yeah, Discord already has emojis, but I think the, the nice thing about the one-up system is that it's uh, persistent. So, you know, your, your emoji you get is just an immediate recognition, but it's not actually worth something after the fact. Mm. Um, so the idea with one-up is to translate that into something that actually is, you know, worth something voting power or or something else mm. uh, in a more per permanent way mm. yeah maybe to share because uh, simona was in the in the previous call as well but uh, um the there was also the a similar question regarding like a source cred as well um because mm -hmm. uh, in discord uh, they, they are actually implementing uh, the algorithm Uh, and an analyzing uh, reactions of people and how they actually yeah. contribute and value. Uh, so maybe it will be a question uh, for you on how you position yourself uh, to uh, compare to a uh, source cred. The first question and the second one was uh, more about the feedback of uh, the the former speaker saying that. Um, uh, one up. Uh, no, it wasn't one up, but uh, like a thumb up can. S Can can have um, uh, um, a spectrum of meaning. It can be like uh, it's fun, uh, it's interesting. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. You're just my friend, and so building then a score. On the, yeah, if it if it doesn't narrow at some point, or you put a, a tag on it, and and then she was explaining also about like uh, having tons of people uh, going on the different. Kind of a variation of one up, so as to increase the uh, the information and the the reputation or the accuracy of the uh, the reputation. So that was the, the yeah. expression. Um, I I think the the general theme is that we we want to keep it super simple. Um, yeah. And 
you know, disc, um, source card's doing amazing things. Um, mm. But in many ways, they're building like a like a fusion reactor, <laughs> and and like we're building like a like a you know like a, know, a, a just, yeah like a little like windmill or something right yeah. it's like it's like let's see what we can capture with like minimal energy um, mm. and and that has like you know very very basic mechanisms like with, with source code you you still have like it's very complex um mm. and you implement source grid and then you have like all these parameters you have to modify and it's like to to wrap your head around like what parameters mm -hmm. do like what that looks like is actually quite complex and i mean it's it's a great approach um but we just want to make like a very very simple tool that any mm. community can start using today it's just one thing to think about um and you're you're good to go yeah. um and um yeah, and in regards to the different emojis and what they're worth, again, it's just simplicity. Just if we just make everything worth one, mm. yeah. I guess the question then is, what happens if someone does a thumb down? Mm. <laughs> is, is it still worth one? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe we'll have. That would be the next sprint. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Thanks. Yeah, thanks for your question. And and so and you put all the the stuff, uh, the um, the things where, where you need to to get things done, or you're looking for support. It's all in your Telegram, or you have all the communication channel. Um, we do have a like a core um, yeah. channel of like developers and people who are building on it. So if yeah. if you're interested in contributing, um, mm. yeah, like feel free to reach out. Um, there's a lot of cool things we're working on that we think uh, will expand this and. You were, we're really hoping that this will, will be a tool that, um, all, uh, like a piece of infrastructure that that all, mm. all projects are going to use and communities mm. are going to use. So, awesome. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Great. Yeah. Thanks so